Good morning, I'm Steve Bowman. This is Maritime Radio. The uh, the Millwall Lionesses hosted Fulham women at uh, the Den on Sunday evening. The sides had met back in September when Fulham had defeated the Lionesses on their home turf. With the Lionesses playing at the Den for the first time this season, they hope to produce a display to uh, please the fan against High Flyers Fulham. Jeff Burnage uh, picks up the story and post-match he talks with Lionesses Liv McGregor and Grace Seeley. Let's hear from Jeff. There was a large and noisy crowd at the Den on Sunday evening to watch the young Millwall Lionesses take on an experienced Fulham in what was Millwall's final home game of the season, with Fulham looking likely to finish runners-up in the London and South East Regional League. The game was in the balance, and only 1-0 to Fulham when they scored a deciding second goal in the 89th minute. Fulham had had the better of the first half, but it was still 0-0. Keeper Chrissy Wiggins had made one great save to stop Ellie Olds' shot into the top corner. Ellen Napper for Millwall Lionesses, one of five under 18 players in their side, fired just over the bar from a Liv McGregor cross. The second half was more even, with the outstanding McGregor creating several chances and causing many problems on the right wing. But it was Betty Baron clark opened the scoring for Fulham on 59 minutes. They have very much a semi-professional set-up and the Millwall team were made to tire towards the end while being cheered on from the Barry Kitchener stand. In the 89th minute, Ellie Olds made it 2-0, but it had been a a great experience for the young Lionesses. I managed to get a few words with player of the match, Liv McGregor, after the game. Liv, disappointing to lose the second goal, but what did you think overall of our performance? You know what, it's always disappointing to lose, especially with uh, playing at the Den, but uh, we played a professional side today. You can definitely tell that they um, they know what they're doing. We dug deep, worked our socks off and just done everything we could. Yeah, and uh, the crowd get a bit of support from the home fans. Definitely, especially in the last few moments, you know, when you're starting to get a bit tired and fatigued and you hear the crowd cheering you on, it just gets you going again. At fantastic support from the fans. Uh, it's just exactly why we do it. It's great playing at the Den. It's a real experience for us, to be honest. Um, yeah. Massive pitch, but I think we catered to it really well. Dug deep and done what we could. Well done, Liv. Thank you. Thank you very much. I also spoke with Lionesses Club captain Grace Seeley after the game. Grace, what were your impressions of the day? Oh, the day was great. I mean, it's always a privilege um, to play at the Den, especially myself. I'm a Millwall fan, so it's just a great occasion, a great opportunity for everyone involved, especially some of the youngsters um, who got to play out there today. It was great. We also um, had, you know, quite a few fans out there, which was a great surprise. And they really pushed us on, especially in the last kind of five to ten minutes of the game when legs started to tie naturally. Yours didn't look as if they tired, Grace. You were running there <laughs> like, a, like the Duracell bunny. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff. Uh, it was great. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And all the players look forward to their last game of the season at Enfield in a couple of weeks' time. That'll be it for another season. Yeah, for sure. I think um, we all just want to kind of finish on a high, go out there and put in a really good performance, end the season uh, on a good note, and then look to rebuild and go again next year with a fresh mindset and a positive outlook. Thank you, Grace. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, certainly a positive outlook there. The, the Lionesses certainly got the Millwall crowd behind them, didn't they? Eh? They're looking forward to the final match of the season away to Enfield Women. Jeff's going to be there to bring us the season's final report. Good luck to the Lionesses. OK, here's uh, Ellie Golding. <laughs>